why do I look like I am in my own film of paranormal activity? What the what the f? Hold on. If you hear little bumps and whatnot, if anyone's up, it's literally 7.27 on a Tuesday night when I'm filming this. And warning, before we even get into it, I may mispronounce. That's not really a warning. Eh. But this case does include the the death of a child with disability as well as the attempted murder of another kid. Trying to get warning, I guess. Also, I can imagine you guys are like, what's going on? Why do we look like we are in a storage room? I am trying to find the best way to organize my landing. And obviously this is not it. This is where my bed sitting. This is not it. I can't stay on my bed here. <laughs> but I'm just trying to figure it out. And I'm having a really tough time doing that. Anyway, let's get into the case. I will say, I found out this case through TikTok, and once I- the dogs are coming upstairs. I don't even know when to start. I'm sorry the camera was so shaky. Sunny was in my lap and then couldn't stop licking and decided she was going to move herself from the situation because I physically looked and dead in her little eyes and said, if you can't stop, you're getting down. So she just solved the problem for us and you are sitting on my desk today, so it's a little shaky. I found out this case from TikTok and when I tell you guys it is completely unhinged, I mean it. I was in shock. There has two my dogs coming up the stairs. Eh. One, I guess, but... Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Also, if I sound congested, I, like, got over allergies, and then, like, I shit you not, five minutes before I decided I was gonna do this, I was hysterically crying. Okay, this is the case of Rodney O'Neill. Rodney? Did I say Rodney? Rodney O'Neill. March 18th of 2018 at about 11.43 p.m., Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office receives, they received a 911 call. The calling was a woman that they believe was Kenyatta, Rodney's girlfriend at the time, a known male was hung and screaming. I cannot pronounce this. Give me a minute. I quickly pulled up the pronunciation because uh, it's um, a Muslim phrase and I don't know if you know this. I'm not Muslim. So, here. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. I don't know if that is pronounced correctly, but uh, a known male was hung and screaming that in the background, and that roughly translates to God is the gangatist, God is gangate. The woman was hung and saying, I'm singing on me, but when she's screaming very loudly, if you see movement, Faith just got on the bed after I told her not to. <laughs> um, according to the news, at least, a male could be... <laughs> Hung and saying she killed me and don't come outside, call 911. The call ended shortly after that. Before I continue on, Ronnie had killed his girlfriend and the couple's disabled daughter, who was nine, and attempted to murder the couple's son, who was eight. Eight minutes later, a second call came in at 11.58. This time, a ma it was a male claiming he was attacked by white demons. This cl this call and claim, Kenyatta was trying to kill him and that he had killed her. Deputies arrive at, arrive at the home at about 11.59 to find a woman laying unconscious in the yard. The woman would later be identified as Kenyatta. On arrival, Ms. Ponders also saw that Nani had set the house on fire. Huh? Then son, Nani, Nani, 
IV. I don't know. It would be what, like, junior? I don't know. I don't know. I put IV. I, I don't fucking know. Escape the house with, guess what, stab wounds and burns. Ananias resisted on us and had to be actually cased. And he claimed he had killed Kenyatta, the de- the devil, and said that his two kids were the devil's the devil's kids. Essentially, he said the kids are the devil's kids. So what? Rodney's trial started on June sixteenth of actually twenty twenty one. Believe it or not, so that was pretty recent. He acted a damn fool. Like, I can't even explain. Like, if you search pictures of Ronnie O'Neill, some of the pictures come up of him acting a damn fool in the current room during trial. What? What? He made a mockery of the justice system and he also yelled at the jury. He blamed Kenyatta Baron for the murders. His son, Ronnie, also testified against him during the trial. During the trial, a psychologist testified that O'Neill, Rodney, was diagnosed with PTSD and delusional disorder. This is essentially how the killings went down. So this is probably when you might want to eh if you were sensitive to death of kids. Arani had first killed Kenyatta, the girlfriend, by shooting her. Then he moved to their daughter. I cannot pronounce the name. It's like Arania. I'm so sorry. By attacking her with an axe. She could not move. Like, she couldn't walk. No one could she talk. He lastly went after their son and attacked him with an axe stabbing him. Ongani, the son, was able to escape and alert detectives. Pung, I guess. At some point during the trial, Ongani stood up and yelled, I am not sorry for something I didn't do, and I'm not sorry for the things I did do. The judge told him that if he raised his voice again, he would be removed. He lowered his voice, but continued to say, but I will say I am sorry for getting a loss. Everyone wants to point the fingers and play the blame game without knowing actual facts. The judge said this was the worst case she had ever seen while being a judge. Sorry. Uh. Um, Anani was sentenced to three life sentences without the possibility of parole. He was also sen- sentenced... 30 additional years from innocent and 30 additional years from child abuse changes. Lastly, ending this case on the on somewhat of a positive note, Ngani, the son, was adopted by one of the detectives that came to look at the scene, examine the scene. He was on scene when this was happening. So that's how Mike Bling, the detective, knew of Ngani, and later he adopted Ngani. So there's that. This was a very quick case just because I feel like with TikTok cases, you don't really get a lot, and then when you go and do additional research, you don't really get a lot because like 2021 I don't even remember those being mentioned but then again I think this happened in ooh I think it happened in Florida don't quote me on that anyway like maybe it was local news to when it happened but it was local news to me and I personally it was not like national news so I just had to do uh, take the guidance do my own research and I hope you in I hope you enjoyed this webcam case. I will see you guys on Monday with a vlog. Bye!